These are going. What? <sighs> this is it. This is the video. This is the uh, shoe purge that I've been putting off literally for years. As, as far as showing you, I've done mini purges, but not like what you're about to witness. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen today. And uh, I have help because, you know, I, I I like to have help. I'm not even going to like front. You know who it's going to be. I'm not going to like, oh, guess what? You don't know it's going to be Rihanna. She's coming around later. So uh, we're just going to go through all my shoes and all my... We're just going to go through everything and just... She's here. She's, she will be here. But I'm waiting for her to arrive. She'll be here in a couple of hours. But before she gets here, I just want to show you some glasses that I picked up from Warby Parker. Now, I've been wearing Warby Parker glasses. I have one pair um, of Warby Parker eyeglasses. I'll show you them for since 2018. It's so funny that they reached out to me because I they, these are the only reading glasses that I have. And... I just want something that's more. I want more options. I just love these. I wanted something that was like oversized and, you know, just had that kind of like, I don't know, geek librarian kind of vibe to them. So actually this partnership came at just the right time because I don't want these to be the only um, reading glasses that I own. Um, I figured, let me just try what they've got and use their at-home service because you can just order five eyeglasses at a time, whether it's prescription like mine, sunglasses, progressives, blue lights, and they start at $95. No obligation to buy, just try them all out see what they're like with my different outfits and then just decide from there and just send them back with their return label so done and then just try another set there's a quiz as well so you can like check to see what frames suit you and suit your face the best i thought i'm going to do this because i want to try other ones to balance out with my clark kent's okay so this is what they come in all the glasses came in their own little in their separate compartment like this so i'm just going to try on what do you think of these i thought i liked the idea that they were like pink can you see what do we reckon? Because I always wear like this Pat McGrath lipstick, as you already know. So I kind of like this slight pink, but it's not too pink. It kind of like almost disappears. So it's like naked Clark Kent. I just, I don't know, I like these. Anyway, I'm, I'm really happy that I've been sticking so far with Warby Parker because I feel like they provide just really good, like just, I don't know, it's like exceptional like eye care service and just really good eye care whether it's online like these we can just try on for free or in the store i can show my friends show michael if he was around i can show rihanna later and you can do that when you've got the glasses at home so i like that and they're still oversized as well which i like okay all right so there's those do not forget what i'm showing you because i really want to get your opinion okay these are like a little bit of a tortoise tortoise um shell just a little bit which i like so it's like more subtle these oh i quite like these they remind me of the ones I already have though a little bit, a little bit thinner, the frame. So what do you think? So it's a bit more delicate. Talk to me. Tell me what you think. I need to know what you think. <laughs> I actually want to know what you think because I'm not, I'm alone. Michael is not around and I want to know, you know, what you guys think of these. So comment below with what you, re you know, what you think of these glasses. I've got these glasses for up to five days. So I've got a full week to really like try them out with my clothes. I'm wearing, you know, these is the end of the stories jeans, um, Suzanne blouse. And then, stay there, stay there, don't go anywhere. Oh, I picked a couple of um, sunglasses. I quite like them. I thought they looked really cool on the website. Look, these. Don't laugh. I love being able to like try these on, like the privacy of your own home. I quite like these. Hold on. Just looking in the monitor. What do you think? I quite, I quite, I like these ones. What do you, th what do you, <laughs> what do you think? I don't normally wear like round glasses. Oh, these are aviators. Now I've always kind of liked the idea of having aviators. What do we think? Aviators, these are like rose gold by the way. It's not like yellow gold. What do you reckon? I'm quite liking these. So different to the Clark Kenties. They're not Clark Kent. That's not the name. They're called Aubrey. Aubrey or Audrey. One or the other. Tell me which ones you think. You can visit warbyparker.com forward slash Karen Britchick and try out five pairs of glasses. 
get them for five days, no obligation to buy them. They ship for free and you get a return shipping label included. I'm gonna wait for Rihanna. It's gonna be ridiculous. Happy dress like Karen at Purge Day video. Exactly. <laughs> so there is a twist at the end of this shoe purge video. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm gonna need your opinions on it. Um, it's something I didn't realize until I ended and finished shooting this video. But um, yeah, stick around for the twist and let me know what you think. By the way, oh, don't, don't, don't fall back. Death by shoes. Um, <laughs> um so oh god i'll put my glasses down by the way these are what do you think of actually rihanna's not seen this on me i don't think would you zoom in Ooh, i love a big black frame you know my cat eye girl but i think for you because you've got hair for days it's the black it's very secretary black clark the black black clark at <laughs> clark it oh my god they are big i know but i'm a cat eye girl i'm a feline <laughs> Anyway, so, give me my glasses. Um, so, this is the shoe infamous shoe purge video. Yeah, we're gonna go through my shoes. Um, as I said to you in last week's video, I have a lot of shoes that I've accumulated over the years. So it's not something I bought in a couple of years ago. It's been, a lot of them is before that. So it's just a matter of like culling, getting rid, and just get, going down to what I, should, <laughs> what I should be wearing instead and holding on to things that feels like me and uh, just just represents who I am and who I'm feeling like now so uh, we're just gonna like just bang through these boots are made for walking <laughs> <laughs> what should we what should we go first about? can we just can we just show okay the totality of what's happening here <laughs> bags one two and three and then we're gonna also go through um some bags some shoes which are just like lined which you can't see but we'll just pull them out so you can see so we're gonna go through the bags first so we can yeah. just get them out of the way and then... these are going what do you mean you want to know well okay she said the melissas these are the ones that i just had off I just showed you lot these ones last week, my chunky Melissa's. But this is the black version. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god! I get a nerve. I won't be like this. Though. I won't. I won't. Because I, I rewatched the coat video and I saw how clingy I was. Look at the look at the pattern on it. Nice. We are not doing a good job. <laughs> Those. Well, what do you think? Hold on. No, I think they're cute, but I'm saying, look at, okay, so here. So I'm thinking, I've had these, you know what? I did really love wearing these. These I got from Zara. Was it the last year? Was it last year or was it the year before? I can't remember. But I did like wearing these, but I just don't know. They're cute because they're a simple sandal, but they've got a bit of flair. But then you also have the classic Birkenstock. And then you have it's basically the same. It's like here you have simple and posh. See, these look so, they're cute, but are they, are they me? They look so kind of dainty for you. Yeah. These look You're too. You're definitely more of a chunky. I'm a chunky person now. Platformy. So, <laughs> so I think these ones, these go. are going to go. They've, yeah. Sorry, these ones are going. Because Can't. here you still have. Because I love these, sandal. and these serve the same purpose. purpose. Exactly. It's about a be embellished sandal. Yes, and if I was a size forty-two, you know these would be on my feet right now. Because these yeah. are so me. <laughs> those are very you. <laughs> They're so me. All right, so those are going. Ooh, okay. Okay. So these. Then we should go here. with here. So are we keeping these? Yeah, I'll keep We're those. We're the Birkenstocks. Okay. The twerk and socks, these. It might just be going. Okay, so these, I think I will go let these go. Because it's similarly a little day to kitten heel. Yeah, and I actually have. have the kitten heel girl. Even though these are really pretty, these are like, see, they're really no. pretty, but they're just not. They're also just not functional for someone who runs around New York City. Exactly, so these are, these are going. And you have these. Yes, these are strappy and yeah. pretty and they stay on my foot. Well, and these are good for like going those. out somewhere. So these are gonna stay. These just came in by the way. The espadrille category. 
I'm getting tissue, hold on, my nose is running. <laughs> if you love one, buy it in every color. The classic cast center, the Spanish. So we got these. And I'll insert pictures throughout this video of when um, I actually them have on Instagram. these. I love these. I these are so that. cool because again, they're they a platform, really, they look but they're a sandal. You yeah. wear so much blue. Yeah, Rihanna has these. Hold on, let me just go back because so you can't see. Yeah, we'll move this slip around the way because that's not so part of the situation. Oh God, it, oh, it doesn't really look good with this. Look, that's like a that's a shoot. That's a whole moment. Does look really good. It's a Froman. All right, these are stained. But those, to me, they're so cool. Yeah, they're so cool. But in these comparison are to these, that I feel are a bit. I mean, yes, they're classic, but they're still a bit. The Castaners. I have always liked Castaners, and I've recommended them to everyone as well. well. Um, but I will say, I only really wear the black. Yeah. This this is the strike me as something you'd wear at all. Yeah, this I got these color. on sale. This color is very so it was sales goggles. It's it's sales goggles for those ones. It's not a Karen color. So like I'm keeping soft. these. Sorry, you can't see me. We are here, promise. <laughs> so I'm going to keep these because I think these are fantastic. I think these look so cool on. Um, and then three. I'm going to just keep the black. There we go. So the black stays. You're doing so much better in the shoe rid category than the coat rid category. Oh, we just started. This doesn't. Okay, so this is the she's wearing my dress. The Danish so clog category. <laughs> that goes so well with your wardrobe. I like tell me. <laughs> Tell me about I really the like recent it. ensemble for the chunky platform There's actually slash another one. cowboy boot slash. Oh, here we go. You missed one. How could I? <laughs> Look. So this is this is all of them. So, okay. How many is that? There's a black, a tan, and an olive. Now, no, there's two blacks. Oh, there's two blacks. Well, that's a mistake. <laughs> I need to pick. When do you wear these? I have all you I, ever wear is you boots never, and you, platforms You've never seen me in these, but I have worn them. But you just, no one's ever seen me in them, but sometimes I wear them. So, okay. Let's just start process of elimination because I'm not keeping them all. Here's both the black. So we're saying, you know what? No, okay. I'm being, I'm being ruthless. You've got to be ruthless when you're doing like a purge of anything. With shoes you, own. you never wear. And shoes is hard because a lot of women are attached strongly Absolutely. to their shoes. So you really have to be. Well, like Marilyn Monroe said, the higher they feel, the better you feel. Um, now, to be honest with you, out of these, the green is the one I wear the most. This one. And these I got from that same shop where that woman got the Gucci bag for $100. These have a better heel. She, um, I got these, these were $5.99, <laughs> these ones. And I still like them the best. So you know what? I'm gonna keep this. This stays and all the others are gonna go. These tan ones as well. And they won't be missed. Next category. The category is the black platform boot. Ooh. It's starting to get to the horrible category because it's really difficult. We love these. Those are so badass. They're like Elton John would wear these. A thousand percent. If these were his size. And that would be Look you. at that. They are so badass. I mean, they're not very practical, I have to say. They're for wild childs. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Hold on. It's, they're called the tattoo boots. Hold on. Look at that. Look at the design on them. Inspired by tattoos. It's got like a heart, hold on. There's a heart there, and then there's a B. I don't wear these, but I keep these literally out of sentimental value. Sometimes you have to have some of those. Because you just, it's just, look at them, they're it's, special. It's like a collector's item. They need to be saved. I just don't wear these. But they look so cool for like a shoe. But you have a million things that look cool for shoes. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let these go. This is feeling so good. Scary, but it feels good. 
I'm just gonna try them on. I'm gonna be tall today. I'm excited. <gasps> We're gonna practice our tree pose. Cheers, it's a good thing I'm standing here. That's all I can say to help you. <laughs> Look, I'm taller than you. That's just so tall. <laughs> Two. Well, I, I have mostly black boots, so this yeah. could take a while. This will take a very long time. That's right, it's one of each. Mm -hmm. It's going to take ages, actually. This is the longest category, actually, is what you're going to see right now. Because you wear black boots, you do not wear black clothes. No, I don't. <laughs> If you start gardening with Oprah, I will allow you to wear more gloves. Until then... Gardening with Oprah! <laughs> Black boots. Oh my god. <laughs> wait. I'm sure there's more. And then, then, then. Just wait. Just watch. I like to go swimming and I don't come back for an hour. <laughs> the lung pain. Scuba diving. Okay, I think that was her way. Yeah, we love her. I don't know where the other ones. I'm just entertaining everyone. She's the merge. Okay. If anyone's asking, where am I gonna, where am I gonna sell these shoes? Um, I think I will sell a select few. I don't know if I should put them on my Instagram stories or if I should put them on uh, Macari. I think I'll put them on the Macari app again. I'll link it below, um, and then maybe I'll do some on my Instagram. So I'm not even sure yet, but um, I'll let you know in the description box below why I end up deciding like where I'm going to sell them. I would say that 80% of them will go to the Beacons Closet at Greenpoint. That is where I just, we met there. It's and weird. that is where, place. It, I know. And that's where I just like to just get rid of bulk of stuff because they turn around, they give you cash on the spot. This mm -hmm. is good for you if you want to sell your stuff. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, and they turn around and just sell it to other people in the, in the store. So, like me. So the shoe <laughs> just takes on, or wherever it is, it's it takes circular. on more life. Yeah, so it's like recycling it back into the system. So to you're extending system. life for it. Okay, so. But these aren't going. Right, these aren't going because I'm keeping. These are the, the tall Zara boots, which you don't know about. Yeah, the other Zara boots, Bottego, knock knockoffs, the Perenza Shula Contrast Stitch, which you lot have seen. I will also I put those. the pictures of me in them. Doc Martens. Classic. Oh, nothing yeah, to say. No. The, the shiny, chunky, what I call my tractor boots. These are the ones, the Prada ones. I love these. Um, I'll leave links to everything that um, if you're interested in, in terms of like buying my trends here. Yes, they're both the same brand, <laughs> as you can see. The ankle and the brogue. I love that you're a Prada good. girl. I just really love That's a Brit view. The it brogue. Is. The, 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 it's the like chunky platform That's exactly brogue. what it is. The docks. The lifestyle. Yeah, yeah it's, you. it all comes from, from that. Which this is not. These, I'm not keeping those. No one would think, oh, that's definitely a Karen Britchin shoe. Bye. Um, these are fine, but oh, I just, I feel like, um, oh God. See, similarities. This is more of a statement one, and it does look really nice on, and I'll show you pictures on the screen with me wearing it. But, and they're very comfortable, surprisingly. Oh. These are obviously a statement cowboy shoe. Mm -hmm. Even though they're pointed, they're very comfortable, which you wouldn't think. Here is the other one if you want to put the other one on. And then there is, I mean, what do you think? Neither? Two, four, six, seven other black boots. And no, they're not pointed, but they essentially do. I mean, like this, for example, could do the same thing. They're not very special. Because it's tight, not at all. But I mean, this is a Western, a Western shoe. But, oh, but I have black. Look, I have these. I know these are taller, but I feel like between wearing these. This is Karen's Western boot category. <laughs> I think I should keep these ones Moment. instead. Instead of. You narrowly missed my head there. Oh, shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. These are new and these are vintage now i personally prefer these on my feet there you go and that's there's just nothing special about them. exactly and i think that's the point of this video because everything in this video fits me mm -hmm. so it's not really the point it's about yeah.
getting rid of what is not you. The anymore. excess. Getting rid of the fat, you know, cut that out. Trimming. Exactly. Trimming. It's a shoe diet. Yes. So, Diet Prada. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> These are cool, but I just don't really, I don't know. Looking at, look, looking at all the cowboy statement boots that I own, I don't think that I need to keep all of them. There you go. You know what? I'd never really wear these, even though these are so nice. Really? That I surprises know. me. It's a, this, these are the same brand, Ganny. Ah, uh, yeah. And I personally prefer the these. Brand. They're so rich. Look at that. I like the taller ones in the white. So, oh, such a shame. But I'm just not reaching for these as much as I thought. No. These I don't really wear. No. I remember when I was into that, that phase. So those are going. Okay. Oh. I mean, we don't want, we don't want the dress to influence. But yes, I do wear a lot of like midi dresses. The white gannies. Leave a comment below. What are you thinking? Because you know I never override. I'm always in the yeah, get rid just of like, category. Chop, chop. But I just feel like a white boot. You have no other white boot. I don't boots. have one. I okay. feel like there's going to be a day that this you want a, a white boot. This is a rare moment. She doesn't usually do that. I never do Justify that. Justify a keeper like that. <laughs> See, but, I'm not evil. Um, these, I love. I love these. These are so fun. You don't know what these are. Look, they're love. <laughs> these are Ganny. Oh, of course stain. they are. We love Ganny. They're so cool. Yeah. I got them on sale. Um, Good price. These I'm loving. These are gorgeous. They're so nice on. These Lovely. cowboy boots. So these are really, really pretty. So I'm holding on to those. I was at the Beacons and Chelsea yesterday and this girl, this woman came up to me and she's like, I know you. You're from Karen's channel. You're ruthless. Oh, God. That's exactly what she said to me. Wow. <laughs> I have soft spots too. <laughs> I have a heart. Exactly, that's in the key part. These are going. What? No? This Why do you wear those? I've worn these already. Really? I have. These I are sick. I never see what's Oh my god. Out. Well, I just, I just recently got them. So the dress would fall like about here. And as you're walking, you know, you've got like the dress. Shh, shh. Like moving. They are, look. Oh my God, they're so chic. Okay. Because I don't wear heeled, strappy, yeah, high and yeah. tan type shoes. Yeah. But for like going out, going out, this is my going out shoe. It's a boot, I know, but okay. it's a stiletto. I and stand it's a stiletto. I, know. I love these. Oh my God, this is so good. Wait, wait. <laughs> these. Those. These yes. boots are made for walking. They're so good. Look at that croc on them. Okay. Let's see. So those stay. The low oh, boot right. category. So these are so these. Now you do have a white boot, but the other ones are better. Yes, pink. that's right. These are these very. Well, I must admit, between the two, I mean, that's comfortable. The gannies. These are way more. They're like a sock. Yeah. Um, but it's a completely different, 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 different type of shoe. These are the um, Everlane soft ankle boots. I know yeah. I've recommended them to you lot because they're so, they're the softest boot I actually own. Um, but yeah, so, I know. I don't know, I'll put them right there. That's the question mark ones because I actually still really like those. Diana is preferring the Ganny Western white boot versus the Everlane. So leave a comment below on what you think. I just I think these do. are more large and in charge. These? Yeah. These are just more basic. Yeah. Leave a comment below. <sighs> These are the same. <laughs> I don't really wear those anymore. Exactly. If so, anything, you keep those. Those. Because they're so a bit more. more. Yeah. Yeah, but the other ones. Gone. That's, that's from like your, old, your punk phase. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Aeons ago. That's what we're looking at. And that's what we love about these purges is you see just like you different. You see your life. Your, de right. your style development. You literally see. It's very oh yeah, exciting. that's when I used to wear that. That's mm -hmm. when I used to wear that. Oh yeah, I remember when I was into that. Whoa! Throwback! These are, these represent 
um, when I started, where did you get that? My I remember this in, in here with when she had straight hair, straight long hair. When my hair was chemical and the hat and the fedora hat. She never smiled. I never smiled because I was the cool. I was cool girl. Mm -hmm. Cool girl. Yeah. And then I came on YouTube and that all went to shit. Exactly. <laughs> Personality! Yeah, and everyone was like, oh, she's actually crazy. <laughs> she's not as cool as we thought. No. She's a, she's a crazy girl. No, because kindness is cool. <laughs> These are what I wore to death. All saints. They don't even make ones like this anymore. They literally started talking to me at one point. You know when the separates, it has a mouth? Uh, oh, such oh, a shame. Yeah. Here yeah. we have conversation. Look, this is where they talk when your shoes talk to you at the front. <laughs> That means they're saying to you, I love I you. I love you. You've worn me so much. Or like, give me a fucking break. <laughs> give me a vacation. <laughs> Where's my PTO? PTO? Paid time off. Oh, oh okay. So, wow. It's it's literally nostalgia I with know. these. It's almost like museum piece. Like they represent iconic. They represent when I started the freelance life. So I kinda wanna keep, keep them for that. that. Yeah. Keep them for that. They will yeah. I, it's not about wearing them, it's about what they represent. Yeah, the sentiment. Okay, so here we go. Sticking to All Saints, strangely enough. These are All Saints men's uh, gladiator style. Gladiator style sandals, but... Oh. I never really wore them last year. No, no because I'm wearing... No, those are definitely... No. Oh, uh, these are cute for a photograph, but that's really all I wear them Bye. for. Bye. These we like. These are love. These are great. These are um, Topshop block heeled low sandals. I could wear them with this dress even. Oh yeah. They're so, and these are so pretty on. These are gorgeous. So they're staying. I could. <laughs> this is great. This is how I glam. Stay pile. These you literally like wore what? I wear them for shoots and that's yeah. it. Right. You, I am proud of you. Blue monk strap shoes for a collaboration. Were you about to say the more you purge, the less attached you get to things, and the more you enjoy yeah. the cleansing? Yeah, because I think nature. once you start letting go of things, the easier it gets, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think you just start to be like, go, 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 go. <laughs> this is what I hate, when you start to find the similarities. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the three musketeers. <laughs> okay, three completely different. Very. Yeah, so this I'm holding is a 70s style one that I found at Beacon's Closet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our happy place. Oh God, move the dress down so you can see it. There you go. These. And then we have These the Stella McCartney's. So good, those stars. Oh. The Stella's. Excuse me. Oh God! <laughs> so yeah, so we have. Um, okay, so here we have. Wow, there's a lot of tan shoes here. Yes. I think these are so much more special. Yeah. They're more practical as well. They're patterned. They're because definitely more practical. The heel is just so much. These seem a little outdated for you. Yeah. You have on. Yeah, I got these in a the moment of thinking, oh my God, these are amazing. Yeah. Which but is I what think... happens when you're. A thrift enthusiast like that. Yeah, exactly. You sort of appreciate the thing mm -mm. with without thinking about what you've got. So, unfortunately, they're going to go. I'm trying to be ruthless, people. These are going to stay. These are beautiful. So, these croc studs are staying. She loves And this is just a great brown. That's a, a really great tan. Brown. Cognac. I love this. Yeah, these are sick. Okay. These Stellas. So good. I know you lot love these ones. So do I. These are great. Oh, my God. These are better. Yeah. You don't have this color. This, you know what this reminds me of? The what? coat. The coat quandary where we had like all the tans and then the burgundy. You had three like teddy coats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same difference. Those are so much better. Yeah, these are staying. Mm -hmm. These I can easily pull out in the fall. Mm -hmm. So and they easy. serve the same purpose. Straight block heel. It's a classic style that's not going to go anywhere. So slouching down if you want. Which okay. never really goes anywhere. Yeah, those are good, aren't they? Yeah. Those are lovely those colors. colors. This is badass. Those are Zara's. Turn for a second. Okay, so yeah, those are staying. Uh -huh. These are gorgeous. These are by far um, block heeled suede ankle boots. So good. 
So I'll keep those. You get rid of these. I should get rid of these, yeah? yeah. She says, get rid of these. These are my Zara suede boots. Why? Have both. Yeah, have All both. Right. real thing. These, I really love these. Snake. I know I've got a snake. I feel like I've got a snake. You do. Well, the Ganny. Is that it? I think these. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so different. I really like these. They stay. So these ones are staying. That's going. <laughs> Jewels on your feet, these. They're so pretty, so I'll keep those. More snake skin. Oh, this is so beautiful. Are they like 70 shoes? Oh, I like these. Yeah, this but is you'll, so you'll, much. Like they're, they're, they're a placeholder. You'll get a better one. You know me. Yeah. You do know me. That is kind of hard. I did and um, I don't want to hold on to these ones because I don't need them so these are gonna go and they're brand new actually so I've worn those to I've worn these so much so look at these yeah these are talking see that little yeah <laughs> yeah that's when you know how much of a converse girl I am and nice. this is the upgrade <laughs> that I've got so I just don't think I should keep both, right? I should just keep one versus well, the flat version and the platform version. Well, they're different. If you ever want like a run around, run around, around dirty, knock around. But look at the black. Yeah. I mean, this isn't even black. This is gray at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so the blacks are going because they're just, I mean, regardless of these, they're just. They're blackish. They're. <laughs> ba bum So. Oh, wait. Oh wow! So these are her grass stain lawn mowing tennis shoes. <laughs> Get rid of those. Those aren't me. Get rid of those. Are going. Get okay. Do a whole thing. Wow, I got deja vu a little bit. Yeah. Um. So these I wear when I'm running around like errands, going to the post office, going grocery shopping. So what should I wear? I can do that with Converse's now. I don't really need. Or do I need a low sneaker? You don't need these. I don't need these. No. All right. So these ones are going. They've had a lot of life. A6. Um, these, I actually still kind of like these star ones. You know, so, Sarah loves the Balenciaga platform sneaker. Exactly. So we've got so, two of those. And I just feel like you would, would wear rather jump into those than those 100%. Because this is essentially a converse without the... Yeah. So those are there. Okay. So, and then... Why these, do you have those? These I got before I got these. And Bye. I ended up getting these, so. Okay, so let's go. Is she upgraded. This isn't going too bad. No, this is great. This is not do too bad. Do you need bad. those Nikes? I don't really wear them, even though I really like them. Uh, the same? Yes. Okay. <laughs> are they exactly the same? Yes, they are. <laughs> it's well, not like you need height. Wait, no, there actually is. Oh, wow. Ooh, those are, those are with this era. That was a Karen that had the long hair with the fedora. These I, I DIY'd a pair of Converse's, but even DIY though. Them, I love that. Yeah, I put the studs on myself because I wanted to make them more kind of edgy, so I did that. But you know what? They're going. We're keeping the cream. I can't keep them all. All nostalgia. Yeah. I'll just keep the, the yeah. boots. Are we, we're keeping these. Um, I don't think I'll keep the pink. Okay. Because, God, I've got these Converse's I've collected over the years. I'll get rid of these ones because I don't really... Progress! <laughs> As, along with all 3,000 other shoes. Exactly. Have. So... Keep these. Yeah, these are great. Although you would say that. <laughs> it disappears into her dress. These are Topshop block heeled. It's the same as the Red Crop. These are fantastic on the feet. If Topshop ever comes out with these again, it's worth it. I'm telling you, these are fantastic. Your veins, stiletto, These are the only 
stiletto shoes I own and common sense says to keep the black because they're black but mm -hmm. honestly these are so the cut on these is so much better I don't know if you're going to be able to tell um let's also just talk about this like push pin heel can you see that this tom ford gorgeous moment now that bam is a met gala shoe it was so so well cut mm -hmm. I remember I got them in the Bergdorf so I was like, oh God, these are great. I had no occasion for them, but it wasn't about that. Because I feel like you this shoe category is just, it's just good to have. It's almost like a little black dress. Absolutely. So you always need a power heel. I don't think I'll ever wear the black ones, believe it or not. I, the way Karen is, I'd probably wear the silvers. No. Yeah, the black are too safe. Mm -hmm. I'd wear, I would wear the silvers. Yeah. All right. So the silver There's stay. There's nothing safe about a stiletto. And Wipers. these stay. Oh, I love those. Okay. So that stays. No, I thought these were. I like the idea of these, which I know Rihanna has sent in past videos. If you like the idea, because I kind of like them, because I have like Studio Fifty Four vibes, right? That kind yeah. of gold. They do. Well, which I still, and I still kind of like that about them. Yeah, but you've never worn them. I know. What does that say? That's what you can tell. <laughs> oh, God. This is it. We're kind of, yeah. Yeah. This is literally it. Oh, my gosh. So, so we're down it. to the south. There's actually floor. a third one of those. Ooh. Stay there. Let me see if they're in here or not. Hiding. I'll put them on the screen for people so you can see what they look like. But they are um, brown. Up. Your anyway, color. these are staying with the star on them. I just think they're the classic, the most classic of all. They look incredibly unworn, but okay. I can't, can't do it. And these? So those are gonna stay with all your other pla black black. I'm, I'm being a good girl. I'm bringing these out because Rihanna didn't show these. So I'm gonna show you them. Where were those hiding? They were in there. Oh, they're great. These are by Mister. They're like '70s style. <laughs> ah! Ah, Get rid of these. Get rid of these? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think they're too much. I think they're kind of shiny and steady. Like too oh, much. Oh, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like these. She look oh, now this is this is good because whenever I say the brand, Rihanna goes, doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> it's a dual coat found at Housing Works. Doesn't matter what label it is. Okay. She saw the brand on these. I never told her. And she heard what she said. She said these look shiny and cheap. These are over $800 because she just saw the brand of them. And I'm not even going to tell you what they are. She got affected by the name. Ah, I'm all hot. You can't tell I'm nice. <laughs> I just think these, because these are naturally, because they're like, a, it's a natural shiny pattern. And I just feel... This is, I don't I'll put it in the don't know, like right yeah. there. What do you I, I think? I would honestly consider what yeah. you're saying. What do you lot think? I'll put pictures on the screen of me wearing both of them. I mean, let's be real. Um, so people let's can see. Real. We have what? three oh better options. Okay. Um, don't you think these are all just... The ones in your hand are definitely staying. Yeah. That much I know. This one is definitely staying. Yeah. This I'm not so sure. But don't, so. but don't you see what I'm saying? How these, in contrast to this one, are just better? Yeah, they are. The real and, deal. and I think what's affecting me is because I know these are expensive. Yeah. You know, and that does, you know, I'm not perfect. Let's keep it 100% here. That can affect your decision. You go, oh, but these thing. are Chanel or these are blah, blah. So, so you hold, on, and so like you hold on to another year yeah. with them and you never actually wear them. If you didn't know the brand of any of these mm -hmm. and it was just about my aesthetic and what I like. Yeah. These are hundred percent. These are these are hundred percent. These aren't. They're nice. It's not the point. They're beautiful, actually. They're, they're gorgeous. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But how much am I wearing them? So okay. Did we? No, we did. We finished. Oh my god, we did it. The purge video is done, and the craft goes wild. So I have a confession. This is not all of my shoes. I completely forgot about shoes I've got under my bed. 
So I think I'm going to do a part two shoe purge video. So thumbs up this video if you definitely want me to do a part two and show you the the other shoes. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Wow, we actually did it. The purge video is over for shoes. I was scared to do better. this. Yeah. <laughs> the get rid of pile is bigger than the keep pile. Like I said, I'm at that point where I don't want to hold on to all of this extra stuff that doesn't represent who I feel I am now. And I think you lot should look at your own wardrobe and do the same thing. Look at your shoe and go, oh, I love these, but if there's a but, then yeah, Get rid of it. you know? And if you sort of find it difficult to style with anything, if you've not worn it for at least a year mm -hmm. and you still got it, there's a reason why you're not reaching for it. So why you keep holding on to it, you know? The filler. The filler. And then a year later, other shoes come out. Better version of that shoe comes out. So it's not really gonna elevate your style, but it's gonna upgrade your feelings. Yeah, so don't hold on to that shoe that, you know, you know, you just keep on because you think, oh my gosh, I'm going to wear that eventually. Because that's what I've done. All those shoes that I'm gonna get rid of mm -hmm. and pass on to other people are that. They represent moments in your life. They represent snapshots of your style over the years as well and how it's changed. On her Instagram, which is on the screen, she has an IGTV showing her closet purge. So you can go and check it out and have a look at mm -hmm. that. My Instagram is on the screen, Karen Britchick, as you already know, it's the same as my YouTube channel. Um, don't forget the Warby Parker glasses. Let me know if you pick up a pair, try them on for free. I, you know, you know how I feel about my Clark Kent glasses. But that is it. Happy purging. Happy purging. And the day this video was shot is not the day this video is going to be aired. We shot this video at least a week before you're watching it. Happy International Women's Day. Surround yourself with sisters in good shoes. Day. <laughs> Channel, do give this video a thumbs up if it helped you with if it helped you with I don't know what just if it just had a good, if you had a good laugh just and it inspired up. you yeah if it gave you the, the umph to be like you know what I'm going to now open my wardrobe and see my shoes and the see what your step. I can get rid of and tag exactly. me if you do on stories because I like to restory some of the ones which I think are funny and good so that is it my loves um, I will. Talk to you next week, Friday. Till then, um, I'll talk to you on Instagram, as usual. Have a good weekend, my loves, as I always say. And thank you for sticking with me, holding my hand through the shoe purge. I'm glad you were there. Comment below. Do you like the choices? Do you like what I got rid of? Do you disagree? Tell me what you think. Anyway, that is it. Oh, the woman who lived in a shoe. I know. We're gone. Bye. We did it.